disappearing in the night from the skies over Missouri to above the Pacific Ocean. It's not a satellite and it's not a meteor. All baffling pilots mid-flight. I don't know what the uh, common denominator is, but it's always at the bottom of the Big Dipper. Mark Holsey is a former F-18 fighter pilot. This August, he was piloting a private jet off the coast of Los Angeles when he says he saw as many as seven mysterious objects appearing to fly thousands of feet above him. This is audio from that night alerting air traffic control. Roger, um, yeah, I don't know. You're not entering any military or space or anything. I'm not sure. The clip obtained by Ben Hansen, a researcher who has spoken to dozens of pilots of commercial flights that have recently had similar encounters. So it seems like it might be getting more frequent? It's either getting more frequent or it's getting noticed more. Okay, there it is. But while no one seems to know what they're seeing, Holsey is sure these fast orbiting objects aren't satellites or any known military aircraft. There's nothing that flies that high. So the odds of it being a military aircraft doing high G loads like that, it's just, it's impossible. It's completely impossible. Does this phenomenon seem to be under intelligent control? That's the only thing it could be. I mean, it's either artificial or, or biological. It all comes on the heels of a congressional hearing earlier this year where intelligence officials testified for the first time ever that there were about 400 new sightings of unidentifiable objects, adding UAP reports are frequent and continuing. Any idea what they are? Uh, no, I do not. Okay, and this latest wave of sightings from pilots could be just the beginning. I bet my life on it. There are many more pilots and a lot more videos that are going to come out. I know this is going to happen. I know what it is. Gotti, you mentioned that there's a government report that is expected to come out. What do you think will be in that? Uh, yeah, that Pentagon report is expected to be given to Congress by the end of the month. It could either provide an explanation for the increasing number of sightings that we're seeing, or it could uh, reveal some more information about new encounters. The question really is how much of it is going to be declassified. Uh, meanwhile, uh, Mark says he was told his report is going to be included in that review for Congress, and based on other pilots he's been talking to, he is convinced dozens of commercial pilots are going to be coming forward describing the same kind of lights flying in that racetrack-like pattern in the direction of the Big Dipper. The craziest part of his story, he says, is he saw a shooting star during all of this that was coming in that direction, too. And he's like, oh, my gosh, there's a shooting star happening as well. And then that shooting star joined in the pattern what? that those other lights were flying, okay. something he's never seen before. Whoa. Yeah. Dozens of pilots can't, can't be making yeah, this up. I know. Yeah. All right, okay. Gotti, thank you. Wow. All right.